I'm Scott. Hey, I'm Brian. Wait. No, I'm Brian. I'm Scott. Okay. Sorry about that. Sometimes we forget. We're here to talk a little bit about some different types of shoes for working out. So there's all sorts of different options, different types of workouts that people are doing, uh, and also different goals that you're going after. So we're going to talk a little bit about the difference uh, of shoes that you should look at when you go to check them out in the stores or online. So typically you want a shoe that is designed and purposeful for whatever you're going to do with it. So obviously a running shoe designed for running and the very most common group of shoes, we have a neutral shoe, we have a stability shoe, and we have a cushion shoe. Those three shoes are designed to help control motion a little bit or facilitate motion. So obviously cushion gives you a little more softer land. Uh, neutral shoe is kind of somewhere in the middle allowing you to load effectively and unload effectively and then a stability shoe nice big block right down the middle allowing some control of the foot we're big fans of controlling the foot with something unique and dynamic like an orthotic and or without anything letting the foot naturally do what it needs to do so our foot should land collapse and then pop back up into supination when we take off so load to unload is super important for us and we take a shoe that's designed for running and suddenly you come to the gym and we're wondering why when we're doing certain movements, jump rope, box jumps, why we're not having success. So Scott's going to take us through why we think you should be in a lifting shoe and or workout shoe when you're in the gym. So like Brian just talked about is uh, you'll see a lot in the running shoes that they have a lot of flex and their job is to help you run. Their job is not to help you squat, do swings or box jumps like you talked about. So we're going to look towards a little bit more of an all-around shoe of something like the Nike Metcon or the Reebok Nano is a very comparable shoe to this. Uh, these are going to give you a little bit more support at the heel. They're going to allow that stability at the calcaneus and also take up a little bit more support in that midfoot. So they're not going to rotate as hard for these ones. They give a little bit of motion, uh, but not enough that you're going to see a huge change in what your foot should be doing. Looking to get more into intervals where you want to add 400, 800 meter runs in between workouts like Helen that involve kettlebell swings, pull-ups, and running. So now you have a big heavy swing and you got to go on a run. Uh, Nike came out with a design called the Nike DSX or also the Nike Metcon Free, uh, which gives you a lot more room at the forefoot, uh, but still just a little less give at the midfoot and that heel is still really solid and locked in. So that shoe's not going to give out. Now Brian's going to talk a little bit about if we're just doing squatting, uh, and we're pushing a little bit more of the heavy weight without any of those intervals in between. And that's where you're going to start to see shoes like this that have a little bit here, more of a heel, more of a platform. So Brian, I'll talk a little bit more about those. This planter flex uh, position of the shoe posted has a drop from heel to toe, okay? What that's going to do is put you in planter flexion. So when I go into my squat position, one of my limiting factors for most of our clients, uh, patients, is the ankle gets limited at the towel curl joint, so that anterior chain of the ankle gets locked up. Therefore, now we're asking uh, more from the calf and we end up getting limitations in the soft tissue. That's blocking us from getting the depth we want to load the glute, load the quad, load the hamstring. So this pointer flex position allows me to get deep into those positions and maintain form while increasing my volume and or intensity, reps, and, and of course weight. So it's super important to consider this shoe if you're in that environment and you're looking to do more of those types of lifts versus being more agile. This is more of an overall type deal where if I come to a CrossFit and or Fit Society uh, or if I go to something like Orange Theory or 24 Hour Fitness and I just want to work out, much better off having this shoe on your foot rather than a running shoe that's going to create more problems for your feet. We want to keep your feet healthy. So also knowing that the different things that you do in a gym, whether you're doing rope climbs, handstand push-ups, you're doing bear crawls across the floor, a shoe that doesn't have a whole lot of strong fabric to it is going to break down over time. They're going to wear down at the sole, you're going to get a lot of motion from the shoe, whereas these shoes for the gym that are more of a cross trainer like the Metcons or the Nanos, they have a much more stable and more solid material that they're built around. Uh, so that's for rope climbs, that's for burpees, that's for handstand push-ups. Uh, they're much more of a dynamic shoe that typically will last you a little bit longer, especially with the demand you're putting on them. Uh, like I said, running shoes are meant to run, lifting shoes are meant to lift. Is this ground lopsided? I think this ground's a little bit tilted to the left, and I'm not quite <laughs> sure why. Thanks for listening to us. Uh, if you want more details, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'll give you more detail and more specifics on running shoes. We partner with some of the best running companies in San Diego, and if you have questions or 
Want any information on that? We'll hook you up. Howdy, howdy. Nope. Work howdy, howdy. <laughs> If you were to say that you were going to do a 225 pound squat and you're going to put a shoe on your back, just take your fingers and squish down on the outside edges of what's going to happen to those shoes. Now if you can imagine, he said shoe on his back, something like that. Run on over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think our first one was better. <laughs>